Well, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my wife. We kind of took it over, took it on, and it's been a pleasure. Um, we want to hold on to it. We're kind of planning for next year. We need support to get to carry that through for next year. Well, we're, you know, we're being optimistic. And although it was on a year-to-year -year basis, we were optimistic that we would keep going. I think we're into our seventh season. And you might see there we have some winter potatoes. We want to keep it going up to the last and hopefully into next year. When I was out sick, um, and it was a great comfort to come down. I spent a bit of time at my ears when I was doing a recovery. Dimit was in the same boat. She kept uh, the place going, kept it tidy, and uh, kept the flowers going. Absolutely, sanctuary is a great word, yeah. Yeah, I'd hate to see the people of the area losing this amenity. The, if you ever wanted something to do, to do your heart good, give you an uplift, you just only have to listen to some of the comments from young, old, rich, poor, all sorts of ethnic groups. People just just loved, just loved what we were doing here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everybody understands that we need housing. There's no question about that. My own thoughts on this for local people would be simply that if you lose this now, this amenity, this open space, this community space, it's gone forever. But it's not just about a few people doing a garden. You know, it's about what, what the community is going to benefit from it being here. Much as we need new housing, you know, you need quality of life. You have to get the balance. I don't think the council understands that. Just, this is great it's great just to be here and um, in some ways it feels like we've already won just because we're all here so yeah. we've already won something we've already won something that's really important to remember all of Weaver Square community garden and allotments welcomes you here just look around you like there's a fig tree over there there's lemon verbena tree over there there's a twisted hazel that's like been cut down and it's still growing so I mean if that's not a metaphor for this place I don't know what is here, here. Um, <laughs> I am a sometimes writer and a sometimes poet and I wanted to write a poem that captured this place but nothing came and I just thought well why not why wh where's my words where's my words and then I realized this place actually is a poem yeah. it doesn't need words it's actually a bloody poem the word that sticking in my head about this place is sanctuary this is a sanctuary for wildlife and it's also a sanctuary for people and as people who live in this neighbourhood and love this neighbourhood as much as everybody here does, we need these sanctuaries. What we have got here is an amazing idea as to how important these green spaces are for city life, to make this city livable and it's time for the planners and the city council officials to understand how much people love this part of the city, how important it is, the life and the sanctuary spaces that have been carved out despite everything that has gone on. This is a real tipping point, this garden. This is the point where we say, no, stop. We need to talk about this. Down the lens. Are you open by five? We're going live for sale, you ready? <laughs> Stay there, don't move. Didn't hear a click. No, you won't hear a click. Mm -hmm.